Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Fur Rage. Today I want to talk about NBA 2K16 again, but not about the whole terrible support system they got on. This time I'll talk about just some of the in-game fuckery that uh, really irks me in that game. Since now, you know, well, now that football season's you know, been over for a few weeks now, and the basketball season's getting to near the home stretch for playoff push and stuff. Been playing a lot more NBA lately, you know, I don't play, Madden's done for a year for me. So football's over. So pretty much the only sports game I'm playing right now is NBA. So I play a lot with my buddies and stuff. We play the program and shit like that. And every once in a while, my park, which my park is a goddamn abortion of fucking game modes, if you ask me. Because it, I mean, three v three is fine. That okay? I guess it's okay. And four v four is fine. But two v two in that game is just fucking goddamn AIDS. You know, it's, it's it's fucking terrible. Everybody in there is fucking either a six seven fucking point guard or a fucking seven foot three fucking center. And it's just, uh, whatever. 2v2 needs to be fucking not make it, take it. Because that would make it fair for everybody. So you don't just have fucking idiots there just fucking there winning like 30 games in a row because they just fucking make it their first basket. And they do the same fucking cheese over and over again. You never get the ball. But I really don't care about that mode. So whatever. If you like that mode, good for you. More power to you. I don't mind it as long as it's not 2v2. Uh, but Pro-Am, a lot of the fuckery that happened to Pro-Am really pisses me off. <clears throat> First off, if you even want to compete for rebound and stuff, you got you to gotta make a 7.3 center. Because if, if you don't, you're not going to fucking rebounds. Because everybody's fucking either 7.3 or they're just fucking jumping through the fucking roof anyway. Like they're goddamn bounce on the moon and shit. Or playing Call of Duty, you know, because, you know, you bounce around that shit too with a sword. But uh, we're not talking about that shitty game today. Uh... And playing point guard, you know, if you if you if you make a realistic point guard or just you want, you want to find fuck around make a really short point guard, that, it doesn't work. Because every guy in point guard in a game that every that anybody else makes, they're at least six foot five to six foot seven, which is the max for a point guard. Every single one of them, just fucking ridiculous. I know I know height is important for basketball because I I play basketball for a very long time. I know I don't look like it, but uh. I know height's important and stuff, but it's not everything. You know, height shouldn't fucking be the deciding factor if your player is good or not in the fucking NBA in real life or in a video game or anything. And then playing point guard. It's like these point guards learn how to fucking dribble in fucking preschool or something and never fucking got better. Every At least fucking five times a game you're playing point guard, you will just dribble it off of fucking someone's fucking dick or their fucking foot or a goddamn fucking goddamn butt cheeks. Every fucking game, at least four or five times. Guarantee it. Doesn't matter how good your fucking handle is, you get a maxed out playmaking. <coughs> it won't matter. As I've never seen, you just you try to like run past someone, you're like, oh, there it goes. Hit your penis. Sorry, lost the ball. Turnover. If you play a center, seven, being seven foot three definitely does help for rebounding and stuff and blocking shots. But I've never seen a seven foot three guy get blocked so fucking much in my life. Every guy, if you pump it, doesn't matter. If you fucking go right up, you will get blocked by fucking guys that are like 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and shit. Every time! I have never seen... Uh, it, it, they're so inept big men. It's like fucking... They put fucking... Goddamn... Sean Bradley as is the, the fucking... Their, their mold for a fucking 7.3 guy in that fucking game. Just inadequate and just fucking can't do any, can't any offense. Get fucking blocked by fucking... Four, goddamn people that are fucking half a foot short... Half fucking... Half your size. Ugh. And if you don't fucking dunk it, you're not you're, you're gonna miss an inside shot 95% of the time. Even with max that fucking inside shot, all that shit, post hook, whatever. You better dunk it and hope that no one jumped or something. That's your only chance of making it. Because if you get contested at all, you will brick it or rarely get fouled. But you, and, and maybe you'll get an and one, but one out of every 50 fucking foul layups or dunks, you won't you won't make you'll, you'll make that one. That's it. It's just so frustrating. In my park, it's just three, 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 three. Everybody can fucking shoot threes. Because for some reason, my park, compared to any other game mode, threes go in uh, fucking twice as, as much as they do in any other game mode. I know that's how they want it to be or how it's set up, just so the games go faster, but that's fucking stupid. It's just like the NBA today. If I got all it is, it's fucking about threes. I'm, I miss the good old days of the bad boys and shit. Fucking people are, you know, fucking roughing people up and shit, and you fucking play hard-nosed games. 
Now it's just fucking everybody just wants to spread the floor and every fucking person has to be able to fucking shoot threes. What you hear in the game, if you're playing pro am and you know they don't have a full team or whatever, they'll have a computer in positions they don't have the players for. All every computer uh, fucking center I played against can shoot threes because it's the NBA today. I fucking got them stretch fives everywhere. You can't play in the NBA more unless you can't shoot unless you can shoot a three. So that, that's pretty much all I really want to say about NBA because that's the, the main thing is you know dribble off people's dicks. And the fucking amount of times you get blocked and the, the three-pointers. The game is still fun, obviously, and it has no competition because NBA Live is a goddamn fucking travesty of a fucking franchise anymore. They haven't been good since fucking, like, 08. Hell, they weren't even making games for a few years there. So they might as well not even make them because still, there's still no challenge to 2K's fucking market. But it's a good game. I like it. I still like playing it, but... There's some things that just are so frustrating, and I feel like there's always, that every year, they don't, like, it's like they don't even fucking test it. And once it's out, they don't care. They got their money already. <laughs> you saw my fucking support letter, which, by the way, how long ago did I post that video with that support? Like, over a month ago? I still get emails from them asking me to fucking to do surveys on it and shit, and ask me if they need, if I need any more help and stuff. You know what? You're right. I do need some more fucking help. How the hell do I turn my fucking goddamn TV on and off? How, does, how do I put my computer in fucking sleep mode? Why don't you give me some more step-by-step -step tips on how to fucking not be goddamn retarded? <sighs> Their support sucks, but the game's alright. You know, it has its flaws like a lot of games do. But still enjoyable. But I want, you know, that's what I do here. I fucking sit here and bitch in front of this fucking goddamn camera and just so I can tell you what I hate about stuff. And that's what I hate about 2K. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, everything, you know, it really helps, you know. Whatever you want to do. Hey, as long as you're watching and you, you laugh you even once. That's all I aim for. Speaking of which, with my channel, a little disclaimer at the end of this video, I'm going to start doing probably some reviews on random things. It's not going to be anything extravagant. I'm not fucking goddamn, you know, Angry Joe or something like that. I'm... Just, you know, simple reviews, which my first one will probably be up later this week, or, well, Saturday. Next week, probably sometime later in the week, because uh, my first review is going to be on uh, the new series Fuller House on uh, Netflix, which I'm, like, six episodes in right now, which, so once I've finished watching that, I'll get a review upon it. Just my thoughts, and, you know, if I recommend it or whatever. Just, you know, something else on here. I'm going to still do for a range of videos, but, you know, I want to try to add some other stuff on here, too. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And you know what? Fuck the Patriots.